This is me and my best friend Joe. Out of all my friends, he used to be the best at football. He was always so quick on the ball and he could kick it so hard and fast. He was so good. He even used to play for a Premiership Club Youth Academy and people used to say he was a rising star with a bright future ahead of him. A promising young footballer with the world at his feet. Never be able to play the beautiful game again. This is what the newspaper said after Joe hurt himself in a bike accident. Come on guys, what's taking you so long? Come on, come on. I want to get home. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on, let me take you for a while. Don't worry about the helmet, we're only going down the road. When Joe fell off his bike, he banged the right side of his head, causing his brain to bleed. This is called a hematoma. The skull is like a closed box, and the brain fits very snugly within this box. If you bang your head like Joe, and your brain begins to bleed, the blood takes up the room which squashes the brain. This causes the pressure in this tight box, your skull, to increase and become very dangerous. Because he wasn't wearing his helmet, Joe really hurt his head and damaged his brain. This means he's having problems walking and talking and even getting dressed. The damage to Joe's brain means that the signals it used to send out to tell parts of his body to move now get blocked. And this is why he finds it difficult to get around. Joe's brain can still see the football, but he has trouble sending a signal to his legs to tell them to kick it. Think of Joe's brain as a damaged PlayStation game or DVD. If the disc is scratched, then it won't load and it can't send a signal to the player. This is the same problem Joe's brain has when trying to send a signal to different parts of his body. The information is there in his brain, but the signal is just not getting through. None of us ever wore helmets when we were cycling together. I mean, our parents made us, but they are so uncool. We just took them off when we got round the corner. The doctors now say that if Joe had been wearing his helmet, there was a really good chance that he wouldn't even suffer the bleed. Bye. See you later, Joe. After I see what happened to Joe, me and my friends wear helmets wherever we go. It's crazy. We knew we should wear them, but we never thought it happened to one of us. Come on, guys. Joe, your mum will be here in a minute. 
It's not cool to be the fool. Wear your helmet. <laughs>